Fancies and Good Nights by John Collier. This is a Time Life Books edition. I take it that they put out a bunch of a bunch of books that were relatively reasonably priced. I have, I don't know, five or six of them that I've picked up along the way, sort of, you know, used here and there. So let's have a look at it. it, it the binding is nothing special. As you can see, my edition has some foxing and it doesn't look that great on the top here. The binding is what they call perfect binding, which sounds a lot better than it is. It means that it's glued uh, and that is not actually what, yeah, it's not, the, it's not the best binding in the world. And eventually through time and use, uh, you, know, you can expect pages to start coming out as opposed to sewn binding. However, it's held up pretty well. This is a book that is, let's see, it was printed. I don't know, 51 or something. And it has held up pretty well. Now, I haven't read it all the way through or anything. This, this is, oh, I could talk about it. This is a, a series of short stories by John Collier. And he, 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 he writes short stories that are, uh, they have, Sometimes they have twists and things, but they're sort of fantastic and sort of sometimes they're macabre and they're uh, weird, <laughs> I guess is a, a way to put it. They, he writes like weird stories, but, you know, very interesting and, and, and uh, thought provoking and kind of cool. I haven't read them all. I certainly haven't read all of his stories and I haven't even read this collection of his stories, which collects stories from other publications as well as some original ones that that came just from this just for this book so i'll just show you the table of contents you can get an idea interestingly it starts the contents on the left which is a little weird and so we can see the short stories that are included in this collection So if you know John Collier and you, you know, sort of recognize some of these stories, then you know that you can find them in this book. This book is still in print. You can, I don't know if this edition, I, I mean, I know that you can't buy this edition new or anything, but you can buy Fancies and Good Nights. Still, it's quite available, quite easily available. This one has an introduction by Fred Hoyle, if that means anything to you. The production is fine. The pages are reasonably thick, actually. Yeah, pretty nice and thick, and the font is clear, and it's all it's all good. It's held up pretty well. I don't love the binding, but as I say, I, I can't fault it at the moment. It's I've read I've read through some of these stories anyway, and so far so good. So that's Fancies and Good Nights by John Collier.